Hello everyone. Welcome to a new video on Red Hat Cost Management. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to install and configure the cost management metrics operator on an OpenShift cluster which is deployed on premise that will then create a new OpenShift container platform source for the cost management application. So let's get started. These are the list of topics that will be covered in today's video. Before proceeding with the steps, I would like to give a brief overview of the cost management application. Cost management is an OpenShift container platform SaaS offering that helps with simplifying management of resources and enables you to better understand and track costs across multiple OpenShift deployments. It allows you to track cost and usage data across various environments, including public clouds such as AWS, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud, and container platforms such as OpenShift Container Platform. It obtains OpenShift usage data by querying Prometheus every hour to create CSV report files, which are then packaged into tarballs and uploaded to cost management. By default, the payload is shipped to cost management every six hours. The cost management operator can create a source in the Red Hat console. A source is required for cost management to process the uploaded packages. The COCO metrics operator is the upstream community version and cost management is based on this project. The cost management application can be accessed from the Red Hat hybrid cloud console using the link given here. Next, let me inform about the storage configuration prerequisite. The cost management metrics operator will attempt to create a default persistent volume claim called the cost management metrics operator data with 10 gigabytes of storage as shown in image A. For the default PVC creation to work correctly, the following assumptions must be met. First, a default storage class is defined. And second, dynamic provisioning is enabled for that default storage class. If these assumptions are not met, the operator will not deploy correctly. In these cases, storage must be manually configured. After configuring the storage, a valid PVC template should be supplied in the cost management metrics config CR. Also, if a different PVC should be utilized, then in that case as well, a valid PVC template should be supplied in the cost management metrics config CR. To configure the cost management metrics operator to use or create a different PVC, add the desired configuration to the volume claim template field in the cost management metrics config spec as an image B. Now, let us look at the steps to add an OpenShift container platform source to cost management. Operator installation, configuration, and source management can all be performed from the OpenShift container platform web console. We will install the cost management metrics operator on the cluster. Log in to the OpenShift Container Platform web console using admin credentials. Once logged in, click on the Operators tab, Operator Hub. Search here for Cost Management. It will show two operators, Cost Management Metrics Operator and the Coco Metrics Operator. This is the upstream community version, whereas this is the downstream version released by Red Hat. Click on this tile to open the install operator window. Click install. Note that the operator must install under the cost management metrics operator namespace. By default, it creates this namespace unless it already exists. Click on the install button and wait for the installation to complete. This should complete within a few minutes. Once the installation completes, click on the view operator button to view the install cost management metrics operator. Now, 
Next, we need to configure the cost management operator instance called the cost management metrics config. In the operator details page, click on create instance. This opens the cost management metrics config creation window. Switch to the YAML view. Here, we need to change the two fields. First, create source and second is the name. The create source field is to determine whether to create the source on the Red Hat console. As this is a new cluster and the source for this cluster does not exist yet, we will change it to true. The value entered in the name field is the source name that will appear on the Red Hat console. It is important to have a unique name that you can easily associate with this cluster. Otherwise, having multiple clusters with the same source name will make it difficult for Red Hat console to figure out which metrics operator this cluster is associated with. After making the changes, click on the Create button. This will create a new source for the cost management that will appear in the Red Hat Hybrid Cloud Console cost management application. This should complete within a few minutes. After the cost management metrics operator is installed, and we have created the cost management metrics config, we will now need to verify if it is working correctly and able to send metrics to Red Hat console. Under cost management metrics config tab, click on the cost management metrics configuration instance name. Click on the YAML tab to view the YAML file. As we can see under status field, the last upload status is 202 accepted. Also, the last successful upload time is visible. You can refer the Prometheus section to check if the Prometheus configured is true and if the Prometheus connected is also true. This will confirm that the data was uploaded to the Red Hat console. Once we have installed the cost management metrics operator, created the cost management metrics config and verified that it is sending metrics to the Red Hat console, we will go to the Red Hat Hybrid Cloud console and verify if the source is present. For that, log in to console.redhat.com with admin credential. Once logged in, click on the gear icon, settings, Sources, Red Hat Sources, you will see that the source was created. Please note that once the source is detected, it might take up to 24 hours for processing of initial data. To check the data on the cost management console, click on Services, Spend Management, Cost Management, click OpenShift, Group by Cluster, and click on the cluster name. Please note that the Cost Management Metrics Operator will be only shipping metrics information. It will not ship any cost data for an on-premise OpenShift cluster as there is no cost inherently associated with the cluster resources for an on-premise cluster. Costs need to be associated with metrics and usage by configuring cost models, post which one can see the cost data being reflected here. To verify if the metrics are being shipped, we need to look at the CPU, memory, and the volume usage data. This is the data we are getting from the cost management metrics operator. Lastly, 
I will briefly inform about source creation for air gap cluster scenarios. It is possible to have the cost management metrics operator installed on the cluster but not ship any data to Red Hat console. In this mode, the operator will store the package reports for manual retrieval instead of being uploaded to cost management. Within a restricted network, the operator queries Prometheus to gather the necessary usage metrics, writes the query results to CSV files, and packages the reports for storage in the persistent volume claim in the cluster. One can either manually download the payload files from the cluster and upload to Red Hat console, or just keep the files containing the aggregated data to be used internally. As explained before in the prerequisite section, the operator by default creates a PVC of 10 gigabytes in size. The default setting is to store 30 report files, which is approximately seven days worth of data, depending on the size of cluster. For a connected cluster, once data is uploaded to the console, it is removed from the PVC. In case of disconnected mode, the data files keep accumulating in the PVC. Ensure you timely download the metrics report and the PVC is not filling up. Else, increase the size to store more data. The procedure to add an OpenShift container platform cluster as a cost management source operating on a restricted network is different. In this video, I will briefly explain the steps. Please feel free to pause the video wherever required to look at the steps in detail. Step 1. The Operator Lifecycle Manager is configured to install and run local sources. Follow the OpenShift documentation link given here on using Operator Lifecycle Manager on restricted networks to create a local mirror of the cost management metrics operator. Once done, the operator can be installed in the same way as demonstrated for a connected cluster. Step 2. After the cost management metrics operator is installed, configure it by creating a cost management metrics config to run on a restricted network to store cost reports locally in PVC. To do this, switch to the cost management metrics config YAML view and edit the following. First, specify the desired storage. If not specified, the operator will create a default persistent volume claim called cost management metrics operator data with 10 gigabytes of storage. To configure the cost management metrics operator to use or create a different PVC, update the volume claim template configuration in the YAML view. By default, the cost management metrics operator will retain 30 reports. It creates one report every 360 minutes, which is six hours. This corresponds to approximately one week's worth of data. You can specify the desired report retention by changing the max reports to store to a desired number of reports to retain. Also, the time between per report generation can be changed using the upload cycle. Once the maximum number is reached, the operator will start removing the oldest packages from the PVC. Hence, ensure you download the generated reports from the PVC before they are lost. To configure the operator to perform in a restricted network, set the upload toggle to false. Replace the configuration in the source section with empty brackets. Replace the configuration in the authentication section with empty brackets. Step 3. Cost reports stored in the PVC need to be manually downloaded to a workstation having unrestricted network access for upload to Red Hat console. The default configuration saves approximately one week of reports, which means the process of downloading and uploading reports should be repeated weekly to prevent loss of metrics data. To download the reports, complete the steps as described below. First, create the following pod, ensuring that the claim name matches the PVC containing the report data. Next, use rsync to copy all the files ready for upload from the PVC to a local folder. Once confirming that the files have been successfully copied, 
use RSH to connect to the pod and delete the contents of the upload folder so that they are no longer in storage. And lastly, delete the pod that was used to connect to the PVC. Before uploading the data to the Red Hat console, we need to create an OpenShift container platform source manually. On the Red Hat console, navigate to the Sources menu using this link. Then, click on Red Hat Sources tab and click on Add Source button to open the dialog box. Under Source Type, click on Red Hat OpenShift Container Platform Type and ensure that the application is cost management. Click Next. Enter a unique name for the source and click Next. Under Cluster Identifier, enter the cluster ID. You can find this either in the Cluster Overview page or the Cluster Help About section. Click Next. Review the details and click Add to create the source. Step 5. Once the source is manually created, cost reports can be uploaded to the Red Hat console from your workstation using the curl command given here. In this command, the username and pass correspond to the user credentials for console.redhat.com and file name is the name of the report to upload. This concludes today's video. We hope you found this video helpful on adding an OpenShift container platform source to cost management. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing Red Hat.